everybody! We are McIntyre Charity and we are New Roots Community Orchard and we are here because we are putting in for your lovely grant that we are very fingers crossed that we are hopefully will be good contestants for and our dream is is to add on a bit of this, some dishes land and to make an educational wildlife historical visitors attraction and it will be called our new project is called the gardens, gardens through Tree. time and this is going to be a visitor's experience and it's going to be a time slip garden where you take a journey through time and here we are in our orchard katie will lead the way and we would like to go through a fairy tale gate into a very special garden called the Garden Through Time. And as you enter the gate, we would like to, this is a very piece of disused land. We've been clearing it, it's full of rotten beds and, um, and it's quite barren at the moment, but we're very busy clearing the area because it was very overgrown. So as we enter the garden through time, it's going to be a very special, the first garden you will enter is going to be called the Roman Garden. So we enter to the Roman Garden um, where we have, we've spent all winter designing and planning on the cold wintry days and, and we came up with the plan of creating this lovely garden. So we will enter the Roman Garden where it completed with great, great, great vines, which we're lucky is already here. It, it would be a perfect example of what plants the Romans brought to Britain in, on this land in that time period. So, as we go from the Roman garden, we will walk down, the visitor will walk down the path and journey through and enter another time. And enter another time. So from leaving the Roman garden, we would like to create wattle style rustic fences. Um, and we would enter, which garden are we going to enter ladies? The medieval garden, an example of the Saxon garden, which we would fill with native plants, the herbs of the time that was used for medicine and food. Each plant we hope and tree will be signposted with the folklore, the medicinal uses of that plant and where natively it came from. So the medieval garden will be filled with rustic style fencing. Um, you will enter through a gate and a rose arbor um, and it will be the perfect garden of that time. As we go from the medieval garden, the, the visitor will journey down the centre path and as we journey down through the medieval garden, the Saxon, medieval Saxon garden, and we've done our research and these would have all been the gardens of this time on this land where we are in Warrington, Cheshire. Our last garden, we've, we're doing an example of three gardens. We've already done a little bit of our um, medieval garden here and we've started creating our own little rustic fences and a few fruit bushes. But on the last garden we enter, it will be, what's the garden called, the last one called everyone? The Dig for Victory Garden, Victory garden. of the 1940s. And this will be a typical dig your own and what vegetables it would have been growing in the 1940s when it was very important to make, to, prod, to make produce for ourselves as well as plant herbs as well. In the corner we'll do an example of an Anderson shelter even complete with bunting going across as well as well as fruit bushes. The gardens will be all very plant friendly, animal wildlife friendly and will attract more birds, more wildlife will create more biodiversity to the land as well. And the exciting thing is we are two minutes from the town centre, so it would be the ideal learning opportunity for, for the community to come and see what exactly some of the plants are like, our native plants that are now long forgotten. 
So thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. And a big thank you and a big wave. And fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.